ladies and gentlemen welcome to venus retrograde day 40 of 40 and yeah things are weird and the big storm i've been talking about for almost two weeks is here jim cantori letting us know blizzard warnings have been expanded west from boston and across down east maine eight states are involved now and what could be a big, bad, bombo genesis Betty. So are you ready, baby? Of course you are. This is Asteroid Fight Club. And not only are hurricane gusts possible and probable, but that wind field is freaking insane, dude. And the waves are going to be crashing along the East Coast for hours upon hours upon hours this is looking to be a pretty sizable event but it is 2022 and with venus and mercury still retrograde anything can happen is it go poof like a fart in the wind i doubt it but it's always possible hey y'all my very first fundraiser of 2022 is going on it's got like three days left and as a good omen for the year as planetary defense commander it sure would be great if you could contribute or donate if you would like to watch Thor News the rest of 2022. I promise to do what I do, and hopefully, if my hackers will calm down, bring back edited videos as soon as possible. But I got $669 left to raise, three days left to go. Miracles are always possible, and you guys are usually really great to me. So just letting you know. Jim Cantori again, this is crippling. This kind of snowfall intensity puts your life and that of others and your pets at risk. This is from Boston, where some areas are gonna be puking up deadly snow. Do want to briefly touch on the potential for exceptional to extreme snowfall rates. Both NAM and GFS buff kit soundings show 80 to 90 units of omega can coinciding with the favorable snow growth region. Given that a double barrel low could develop with the potential for an eye like feature at some point, whether the mesoscale snow band sets up could see three to even four inches per hour snowfall rates. I mean, we're talking some places could get 30 to 36 to 40 inches of snow, especially in southeastern Massachusetts. And wind gusts over 50 to 60 miles steady, it's 50 to 60 miles, and temperatures will be way below freezing. So you definitely want to stay off the roads on Saturday at home with a loved one or your favorite, you know, show at the time. And we're talking snow as far down south as South Carolina. It's got that weird double barrel low feature. And it is going to be dragging a whole lot of snow. And yeah, it's going to bomb out. Almost category three hurricane snow cane strength. But hey, I've been talking about this one for two weeks. I'm kind of tired of it, and I'm ready to talk about the next one, which will come on February 3rd, which is only five, six days away now. The models are, it would bring, I mean, this thing would bring, just be a weather maker for a lot of places, kind of really starts on the second, and then you see you ice up through here, snow all through here, and then snow, 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 snow. It looks like the atmospheric defense team tries to blow a hole in it, because the very earliest runs we saw like super major rain totals here you can see the the snow and the ice would extend all the way back into texas and then that thing would just move and be a monster storm all the way up the coast and so we would be doing that all over again and then on the ninth we would get another nor'easter so we're talking three pretty dang big storms in about a 12-day period sidebar there are six sunspots on the sun right now and the solar flux is at 107 and there have been a couple b class c class solar flares this today and so yeah with venus stationing i think venus is actually stationing right now to go direct tomorrow which means venus stands still relative to earth expect a weird energy day and then mercury goes direct on the third and fourth and then we have 72 straight days with no planets retrograde. So hopefully we can do a lot of cool things and have some fun and make the world a better place and learn how to have fun again. And everybody can calm down. People definitely been losing their minds, man. What a weird month. And I can't stop thinking about that Tonga volcano eruption. 
which was, I believe, the largest volcano eruption in the satellite era. And if patterns hold up, that would mean we would probably see another major volcano eruption in about three months. So, stay cool. I am your Planetary Defense Commander and really would love and appreciate any type of financial help. You can kick my way for the end of January fundraiser. I think it would be a good sign to somehow magically hit my goal this month for the rest of the year. My 10th year at Thor News, which will be, you know, I'm in my 10th year now. All right. I appreciate you. Stay cool. God bless everyone. I'm proud of you for surviving this crazy month, but we got three days left. All right. Talk to you soon. That's what I do. God bless everyone.